Hi, I am Sotya Broto. Today I am going to discuss uh, Fisher projection because I have seen that many students face some difficulties in Fisher projection. Uh, let's try try to um, clear those doubts. See, this is the flying wedge representation. A solid line represent uh, it. It is in the plane of, of the paper. Board line represent it is above the plane of the paper. Then dash line represent below the plane of the paper. So if I tilt this molecule towards right, then uh, we'll get that now A and B moves below the plane of the paper, and C and D moves uh, above the plane of the moves above the plane of the paper. Now if I take the uh, projection of it, then we'll get Fisher projection from flying wedge representation. Now let's uh, play with some molecular real molecular kit to understand it image representation of this molecule see solid bond indicates it is in the plane of the paper see red and sky atoms are plane of the paper whereas see this is it, it is indicated by bold bond here bold bond indicates a bold bond indicates it is above the plane of the paper see yellow is above the plane of the paper where green is it is dashed bond dashed bond indicates it is uh, it is below the plane of the paper so green see green atom is it in the is below the plane of the paper so now we are trying to convert this flying wedge representation into corresponding fissure projection for this what we will do we will tilt it we will tilted this system towards right see we have tilted this system towards right so it indicates so we are getting this configuration so now uh, this red is below the plane of the paper sky is below the plane of the paper green is um, which, which is in the left that is also above the plane of the paper and yellow is also above the plane of the paper this is c now we'll take projection so if we take projection of it then what we'll get where at the top this is a this is b this is c and this is d so after taking projection of this projection of it you are getting fissure projection so this is fissure projection fissure projection So that is how we, we, we can convert flying waste to fissure projection. Now we have to remember some important points while dealing with fissure projection formula. Because this is very important. Okay, first point is um, allowed, rota allowed change that is you can rotate Fissure projection, fissure projection formula, fissure projection uh, formula, 180 degree in the plane of the paper. That is allowed. This is allowed rotation. And what are the forbidden rotation? Forbidden rotation is 90 degree rotation in the plane of the paper and 180 degree rotation out of the plane of the paper. Now, we'll understand these facts. First. Uh, we will start from 180 degree rotation in the plane of the paper. Let's see. For this, uh, I am drawing, uh, I am about to draw a, a Fisher projection formula uh, where groups are A, B, C, D. See, A top, B at the bottom, C at the right, and D at the left. Now, 
this is the flying wedge representation of this fissure projection clear just i, I uh, told you how to do it now <coughs> we'll rotate this fissure projection uh, by uh, we will rotate this fissure projection 180 degree in the plane of the paper then what we will get b becomes a a becomes b and d becomes c and c becomes d now the flying wedge flying wedge representation is this one where this is b this is a this will be d and the bottom one will be sorry the bottom one will be c now if we uh, if we uh, just if we do upside if if we do turning upside upside down then we'll get the same one previous one it gives same molecule so it concludes that 180 rotation in the plane of the paper is allowed which gives the same molecule again we'll relearn this from molecular modeling kit fissure projection now this so now uh, we will rotate this fissure projection 180 degree in the plane of the paper mind it 180 degree in the plane of the paper then what we will get a becomes b B becomes A, C becomes D, and D becomes C. One integrity in the plane of the paper. So this is the what what will be the flying wedge represented representation of this fissure projection. This one, C is above the plane of the paper. This is yellow, D, D is below the plane of the paper and A, red and sky, these are in the plane of the paper. Now let's see what, uh, now let's see what happens when we rotate 180 degree in the plane of the paper. Now this one, sorry, this one, fine. Now we will convert this fissure projection into corresponding flying wedge representation. Flying wedge representation will be this one. Now, now we will just, we will do, we will turn ups, upside down. See, these are, these are the two same uh, flying wedge representation. So these two are equivalent as uh, as shown by upside down turning upside down now we are going to see what happens if we if we rotate fissure projection by 90 degree in the plane of the paper for this first i am going to draw a uh, fissure projection where a b c d are the groups four groups uh, now if I rotate the mole fissure projection by 90 degree in the plane of the paper then and what will happen and see D becomes uh, sorry uh, D, A becomes D C becomes A B becomes C D becomes B and A becomes D now this is the uh, flying wedge representation of this fissure projection now what we are going to do see now i am drawing the a axis if i rotate the molecule about that axis by 180 degree then we are going to get a new form clear see uh, i am i am i am drawing the uh, flying wedge represented of it again again we'll do another rotation if we rotate 
uh, the, this molecule by 180 degree about that axis then we are going to form another new flying wedge representation Th those are allowed actually in flying wedge representation this is the final flying wedge representation now we are going to uh, yes we are going to compare with the first one see those these two are not equivalent so 90 degree rotation in the plane of the paper is not allowed it's forbidden so again we'll see this from molecular modeling kit this is fissure projection now we'll rotate this fissure projection by 90, 90 degree in the plane of the paper So this is this configuration. Now we'll convert this fissure projection into corresponding flying wedge representation. A and B is in the plane of the paper. C is above the plane of the paper and D is below the plane of the paper. Now when we rotate this fissure projection 90 degree in the plane of the paper then C becomes A. B becomes C, D becomes B, and A becomes D. Now let's see what is the uh, flying edge representation of this fissure projection. This one, see. Now we will convert this fissure projection into corresponding flying wedge representation. Now let's say this this one. Now we are trying to uh, now we will trying to superimpose these two flying wedge representation. Let's try to superimpose uh, red and sky. Yes, we are able to superimpose red and sky, but we are not able to superimpose green and yellow so these two flying edge representation are not identical with each other so 90 degree rotation in the plane of the paper is forbidden now we are going to see what happens if we rotate the fissure projection 180 degree uh, out of the plane of the paper let's see what happens for this again we, i'm going to draw a fissure projection using a b c d clear so if i rotate 180 degree out of the play out of plane of the paper then position of a, a and b will not change so only position of c and d will interchange interchange with each other now i am going to draw the flying wedge representation of this two fissure projection then we will compare with each other okay so this is the uh, flying wedge representation of the uh, second form after rotation And this is the uh, first one before rotation, flying wedge representation of the fissure projection before rotation. Yeah, yes. But see, these two are not equivalent. So these 180 rotation out of the plane of the paper is forbidden. Now we'll again relearn this from real molecular modeling kit. This is the fissure projection. Here, A and B is in the plane of the paper and C is above the plane of the paper and D is below the plane of the paper. Now what we will do, we will rotate this one, we will rotate this one uh, 180 degree rotation out of the plane of the paper. So 180 degree rotation out of the plane of the paper. this one out of the plane of the paper is this so position of a and b will be same but position of c and d will interchange with each other each other now so a and b position of a and b will be same 
but position of C and D will interchange. Now uh, this is uh, D and this will be C. See this one. Now we will convert this fissure projection into corresponding flying message presentation. Now we are trying to superimpose these two molecules with each other. See red and sky so that means a and b get superimposed with each other but uh, c and d they are not superimposed with each other so when we rotate one when we rotate fissure projection 180 degree out of the plane of the paper so this is not allowed this is not allowed this is forbidden 